Hello friends, welcome to Input Output YouTube channel. So friends, today we will discuss about a very very important coding questions, which is big prime number. So this question was came in Nagaro coding test in today's morning. So this question is very very important. So you know every prime number questions is very very important. Okay, what you have to first do is to understand the questions first and uh, then I will explain you the questions very easy way and then we will approach the solution and then we will write the code. So the question is stated as Dylan loves prime numbers very much. He has n prime numbers and he can use any prime number infinite number of times. When he plays with his prime numbers, he uses his prime numbers and multiplies them with each other and make a number. For example, if Dylan has prime numbers 2, 3 and 5, he can make 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, etc. He can use his prime numbers infinite number of times. One day his father came and saw his son playing with numbers and asked him the kth number he can make from his prime numbers. Help Dylan in finding the kth number. So I know you don't understand the questions what he what it is going to say. Uh, I'll explain you in a very simple manner. So here is three input is given. The first input is the number of prime how many prime numbers are there. So the first input is three that is three three prime numbers is given in the input two. So in the input 2, the 3 prime numbers are 2, 3 and 5. Okay, so and in the input 3, you have to find the third position number. So what is the third position number? So here is the, here is the array and using these 2, 3 and 5, you have to make this array and you have to find the third number. So here the third number is, this is 2 is uh, in position 1, then 3, then 4. So third number is 4, so our output is 4. Now you can say that how we will make this array. So this is a very simple array, you know, uh, using these uh, three prime numbers, 2, 3 and 5, you can make this array. So first is uh, 2, then 3, then 4. For because uh, using this 2, 2 times, we can write 4 and then 5. And this array will be in ascending order. So that's why 4 comes first and then 5. And then 6 comes after 5 because 2 multiplies 3 equals to 6. Then the 8 comes after 6 uh, because 3 times 2 multiplied equals to 8. So that's how 9 comes after that 8 and then 10 and then 12 and then 15. So that's how the array is created. So for the second example, the input one is 3. So you know 3 is the uh, 3 prime numbers 2, 3 and 5 and we have to find the 7 number positions in the array. So number 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So number 7 is 9 and our output will be 9. Okay friends, hope you understand these questions and now we will solve it. So basically this is a medium level questions. So we will use Q concept here. So after writing the code, I will explain you how the code is works. So we will first write the basic format of the C++ code. So first, as include bits standard C++ dot h using namespace standard and then int main. Okay. And in the main function, 
we will write int n equals to 3. So this is the first input. So n equals to 3. And our second input is an array. So int array a equals to 2, 3, and then 5. Okay, close it. And our third input is int. This is k. So k equals to 3. And now we'll calculate the big prime. Big prime. Big P R I M E. And we'll first in array a and k and we'll output the value so we'll write here c out okay before this main function we'll write this function again this is in time because it will return an integer value so you can see the output is 9 this is an integer so here will be integer type and int big prime Okay, int big prime and then int n int array a. So here will be comma, not semicolon. Okay, int a and then int k. Okay, and and now we will declare a key we we. Q e and the type of the queue will be integer because we will store the integer value into the queue and for the three prime numbers we will declare three queue so the first queue is queue one and the second queue is queue two and the third queue is queue three so yeah okay so we'll write a for loop here for int for int i equals to 1 i less equals to k and then we'll increase the i value i plus plus okay so next we will uh, push the value into the q1 the first value will be pushed into q1 and the second value will be q into into q2 and the third value pushed into the q q3 q1 dot push q1 dot push is 0 so the first value of the array is 2 and 2 will be pushed into the q1 Okay, and here, okay, here we have to declare an integer type x value. Suppose x is equal to 1, and we'll multiply x with a0. So x value is 1, 1 into 2 will be 2, the value will be unchanged. So we can write this. So 1 into 2. So, so uh, similarly, we'll do the same for Q2. So, Q2 dot push x into a of 1 and okay. And here the x value is 1 and a1 value is 3. So 3 will be pushed into Q2. And similarly for Q3, so our x value is 1 and our a2 value is 5. So 5 will be pushed into Q3. So next what we'll do, we'll just check what is the minimum of these three numbers. For that, uh, we'll use the mean function. So mean of, we'll first check uh, for this q2 and q3. 
if you want a quick visualization of Q, then you can see this picture. So this is an empty Q and front and rear is here in minus one position. Then after inserting the first value, so there is two pointer. Gray, uh, this is the front and this is the rear pointer. So after inserting the first value, this will be into the zero positions and the next will be into the one positions and that's how it will work uh, for inserting and for deleting it will be deleted from from the zero positions then one and that's it works here we will just uh, mean these two q2 and q3 uh, we will check which is the mean so for that uh, for that we will do we will use the mean function and then insert this we will write q2 dot front because the front value of q2 is 3 and front value of q3 and the front value of q3 is 5 So we'll check the minimum of 3 and 5 from here and our minimum will be 3. Okay, and after that we'll check this 3 value uh, with the Q1. Okay, for that we'll write the min function again and then we'll write Q1 dot front q1 dot front and the value of q1 is 2 and the mean value of q2 and q3 is 3 so now we will compare the mean value of q1 that is 2 and 3 so the mean value is 2 and this will be stored into the x Okay, so now we will check some conditions if if the x is equals to equals to q1 dot front if this satisfy will for the q1 q1 dot for will for the q1 value and and for the q2 and q3 we will do the same thing and if x is equals to equals to q2 dot front and if this condition satisfy then we will just for the q2 value okay And if x is equals to equals to q3 dot front, then we'll just pop the q3 value. So suppose our k value is 2. So for the first iteration, we have just stored the x value as 2. Okay. And after that, uh, if x is equals to equals to q1 dot front, yes, x value is 2, x value is 2 and our q1 value was 2. Okay, 1 into 2, 2. So, this condition satisfy and the q1 will be popped. So, the q1 value will be popped and q1 will be, q1 will be empty. So, next we will just increase the i value and i value is less than equals to k and the condition satisfy and then we will enter into the for loop then our your x value will be here also the x value will be 2 and for the q3 this x value will be 2 and throughout the program the a0 a1 and a2 value will be same because this is the array and this value will be unchanged 
So now our Q1 value is 4 and our Q2 value is 6 and our Q3 value is 10. So now we'll do the same thing. We'll just, just check the minimum of Q2 and Q3. So 6 and 10. So uh, 2 into 3, 6 and 2 into 5, 10. Uh, and our minimum value is 6. And 6 will be compared with Q1. Q1 is 4. So 4 and 6, which is minimum, 4 is minimum. And 4 will be stored into the X. If after this loop, if I value is not less equals to K, then the for loop will be terminated and will go outside of the for loop and then will return will return the x value and now our x value is 4 and will return this x value okay so we'll run this code and check if it is correct or not okay for that we have to choose our language Okay. Okay, friends, our output is 4. So we'll check it uh, by, uh, by giving the another input. So, input. So, we've checked the example 1 and now we'll check the example 2. So, everything is same except the input 3. So, input 3 is 7. So, we'll put here k value equals to 7. And now we'll check. And to run the code. Okay, friends, our output is 9, and that's the correct output. And you can uh, check it from this array uh, if our 7 position is 9 or not. So, friends, hope you understand the code. If you have any questions or queries regarding this problem, then please comment below. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe it now because it will be very helpful for your and your upcoming exams. So thank you for watching this video.